Good afternoon. Just getting everything set up. Let's go ahead and zoom in some. Make sure we're in the right group and all that fun stuff. Okay. Perfect. I'm so excited. I'm going to get my nails fixed tomorrow. I'm so happy. I really miss him having my nails. Okay. So I'm Roberta with Stamp with Roberta at blogspot.com. You can find me on social media at um, Roberta Timmons or Stamp with Roberta. Some are Roberta Patterson Timmons because my uh, maiden name is in there. But anyways, today we're doing our Fun Fold Wednesday card. So this is our card we're going to be creating today. Okay. Really quick, easy card to make. You can uh, make lots of these. Okay, so we're gonna. The, and the designer series paper we're using is called. Hold on one second. Let me pull it in here. We're using the Inked Botanicals designer series paper. So there is 12 different pieces. So this is front and back. So this is six of them. And then this is the other six of them. So there's six by six sheets. You get 48 sheets for each of the 12 double sided. And this paper is on sale until tomorrow or Friday. Friday is the last day for the designer series paper sale. So any of these designer series papers that you like, they're on sale um, from the annual catalog. And then there's one from the online exclusive on there. Um, you can just, um, I'll put a link in the description to shop with me. And you can go to that, take that link and go and then click designer series paper. And it'll show you all the designer series papers that we have. So this one goes really well with our layering leaves stamp set. This stamp set also is just sold as a stamp set. It's one of the million dollar achievers. But it coordinates. You can punch out using this punch. This is a um, leaf punch that we have in our catalog. Okay. We're not using the punch today, but I just thought I'd show you that. I love these scripty fonts. That's the reason I bought this. Um, but we're going to try get started on our card today. Okay. So let me show you the dimensionals, the, the dimensionals, the dimensions for everything are on my blog today. So you can go over there and uh, copy and write them down the, all the dimensions for our cards that we're doing. Sorry. My phone cord is in the way. So we're going to start out with a piece of four and a quarter by 11. Okay, and we're going to score this at five and a half. Okay, so just a normal card base. Then we're going to take, this is a piece that is one by 11. Okay, and we're going to score it at two and three quarters. I need to open my arm. We're going to do five and a half and eight and a quarter. Okay, and that's going to be our mechanism for the inside. So just fold it like an M, like that. Okay, then we're going to bring in, I'm going to show you these two pieces next. So these two pieces are Calypso Coral. They are four by five and a quarter, and you need two of them. I'm going to bring in my big cut and emboss machine. It's a little dusty but it still works. So we're going to use the platform and then I'm going to use the, this is one of the basic 3d embossing folders. So you get, it's an online exclusive. You get this floral one, the polka dot one and the cross hatch. Hi, I own I'm so glad you joined me today. So I, the cross hatch is my favorite embossing folder right now. Um, so I'm just using it we're going to emboss both of these at the same time. And then we need our gray platform. So you need the base, which is one, and you need four on your sandwich. And then just roll it through there. Okay. And that, we need this out of the way. Okay. Let's see. 
So they're both, you can see they're both embossed. So then we can start putting our card together. So let me get my bone folder and I'm going to push. <coughs> so this is the front of our card. For the front of our card, we're using the inked botanicals designer series paper. This measures four by five and a quarter. Okay. And so I'm going to put that on the front here. Then we're going to come in and I'm going to put these two pieces. Again, they're four by five and a quarter and I embossed them with a cross hatch. So we're going to put one on each side. You could do designer series paper instead of cardstock. I just chose cardstock for mine. Okay. Perfect. Then we're going to bring in our little, of course, so you should want, you want to fold this as a W. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put adhesive on this side here to the score line. Okay. And I'm just going to fold this all up. I'm going to line it up here where I want it about halfway. And then I'm just going to put adhesive on this piece. Okay. And then we're going to fold the card up onto it. There we go. And that is our little mechanism. Okay. So then you're going to need two, three, four. So I need four pieces. Okay. So the, for this, the basic white piece is two and two by two and a half. And the crushed curry piece is two and an eighth by two and five eighths. Okay. And we're going to just stamp our flower. So I'm going to bring in our inks. I'm going to start with my Calypso Coral. And then I'm just going to stamp that. And let me bring in the inside. And sorry, I'm looking for scrap paper. So I want to stamp it off, then line it up and stamp. Perfect. There's one. So we need our, we need to clean the stamps in between because we're going to be switching colors. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So that's, let's close up our clip. So coral. And then I'm going to bring in my lost lagoon. And we're going to do the same thing. We're doing one lost lagoon. stamp off and then stamp it on that and there's that one say that to the side for a minute and then we're going to clean these again and we're going to do two in crushed curry okay so I'm going to do two of these in crushed curry let's do our outline first Okay, and then we're going to come in with our solid, stamp off, and stamp, stamp off, and stamp. Okay, so now we can put these together. So I'm just going to, I'm just mounting the basic white that we stamped onto the crushed curry. Okay. doing all four of these at the same time okay so the, now we're going to do the so we're going to start with the crushed curry ones and those two are flat so you can't they don't pop up so you can just put them on all, and put adhesive all over the back okay for these two I'm just going to put adhesive on these and then we'll put the clips of coral down and a little lost lagoon down. So that is the inside of our card. A pop up and close. So now we got to do the front. And I did not cut the pieces for this. So 
it's two by two and a half. Okay. And then we need, let me find my lost lagoon. See if I have a card front cut. So I'll have to... Yeah, here we go. So this is going to be two and five eighths by two and an eighth. Okay. And then there we go. So then we're going to do some stamping on this. So with our, I'm going to start with my hello. And I'm going to stamp it in crushed curry down at the bottom here. Okay. Then we'll bring in our Lost Lagoon and this other flower from the Lost Le Layering Leaves. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to put these together with seal. And then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Okay. I've had nails for so, my gel nails for so long that it has been so weird this week when they, since they fell off, not having them. So, okay, that's it. This is our fun fold card for today using the layering leaves. And like I said, all the dimensions and everything are on my blog for today. Um, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will put, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put a link to shop with me um, with the host code. And you can um, stock, click that link and stock up on our designer series paper before the sale ends on Friday. Um, if and then if you have, but like I said, if you, and if you have any issues placing an order, please contact me and I will gladly come and help you.